is Andrea Flores spoke with a local professor of law about what this means right now, Andrea. So I spoke with a professor of law at the McGeorge School of Law in Sacramento, and he provided some background on what this indictment means. So the grand jury in New York heard evidence presented by a prosecutor. The grand jury has now decided by a majority vote to indict Mr. Trump. Now criminal proceedings begin and Professor Michael Vitiello explains what happens next. Typical person under indictment will be picked up, arrested, uh, and then formally charged in open court. Uh, and then typically there will be some kind of arrangement for bail. Uh, and then from there, th there will be an arraignment where you, the defendant will plead, uh, guilty or not guilty. Uh, and then at that point, you have a period where you may have some pretrial motions filed, depending on the nature of the case. And then eventually a trial will occur, presumably, unless there was some kind of guilty plea. I don't imagine this case settling by way of guilty plea. Professor Vitiello says the legal process will be slow and will likely go into the next political season. And is there any sort of timeline or idea of how long the whole process will take? Well, when I spoke with Pro Professor Vitiello, he says every case, of course, is different, and it really depends on what prosecutors and Mr. Trump's defense do next. So in other words, we're far from a trial and we're far from a conviction at this point. This is really just the beginning of a long legal process. So, of course, we're going to have to stay tuned. Yeah, should go well into next year, obviously, which is an election year. Andrea, thank you.